For hand apparatus today, we're going to be using a feather. If you haven't got a feather or you want some ideas on where to look for some, I'll help you now. Number one, you could go outside or look on the grass and sometimes you find feathers there. Number two, if you're lucky enough to have a dressing up box, you might see if you could take a feather off something like a feather boa. And number three, if you have a look sometimes inside a pillow, you might find a teeny tiny feather inside there. So three different places to have a look. If you haven't got any feathers at all, what about using a balloon or what about using a leaf? Lots of leaves around at the moment. Can you go and ask your grown up to organise this and get it ready for you? Because we're going to need it later on in the session. Should we have a look inside the bag and see what we've got there today? Oh, we've got two things today. What's that? This is our little bird. It's our little bird and we've got our bird there because he can do something. And here, if I can squish it out, is something that can do the same. Both these things can fly in the sky because th we're thinking about things that fly today. So we've got a blue bird and a blue balloon. Hand 
and apparatus today is a feather. I've got a lovely red one here. If you haven't got a feather, don't worry. You can just pretend instead. The first thing I'm going to do is balance it on my head. And turn around. Good. Now I'm going to try and drop it and catch it. Next, I'm going to drop it and clap. That was tricky. And now I'm going to have a go at blowing it along the ground. Hands and knees. Feather in front. Our pictures. This is my first picture. What can you see? Birds or robins? What colour are their breasts? Orange. And how many birds? That's right, there's two. One, two. And the birds are flying. So we're going to be a bird on the ground. And we're going to fly our wings and we're going to stand up on your tippy toes. Excellent. And let's fly back down to the ground. Let's go flying again. Are you ready? On your tiptoes. Up, up, tiptoes and back down. Very good. Well done. Let's look at our next picture. Do you know what this is in the sky? It's a hot air balloon. And hot air balloons sometimes have pretty colours. So, for this one, we're going to stand on one foot. So, you're going to put your arms out to the side. You're going to stand up nice and tall. And you're going to stand on one foot. And put it down again. Let's see if you can stretch your toes when you bring your leg up. Stretch your toes and put it down. Let's try again. Very good. And the other leg. Brilliant. Let's look at our last picture. What's this? It's an aeroplane. Aeroplanes, before they take off, they start on the ground. So this aeroplane is on the runway, ready to take people on the ho onto a holiday. So we're going to be the aeroplane on the runway. So this is my runway. I've just got some tape, some parcel tape, and made a straight line on the floor. I'm going to ask your grown up if they can help you make a straight line. I'm going to stand on my line. Arms out to help me balance. Make my aeroplane. Meow. And we're going to tiptoe along a line. Turn around at the end. And tiptoe back up your line. Turn around again. And down you go. Turn in. Back to the top of the line. Very good. Hello everyone, we're going to look at our focus skill today which is balance. So the first balance I'm going to do, I'm going to stand on one leg, arms out and see if I can hold it. I'm going to make a straight line with my leg across and a straight line down. See if you can try that. Also have a practice of standing on the other leg. I'm going to try and do it and count to three. One, two, three. Now here I found some tape that I had at home. Ask your grown up for some help, see if they can find something in your home to make a straight line on the floor. So for this one I'm going to put my arms out to the side and I'm going to tiptoe walk 
on my line and tiptoe walk back up my line. Have a go. Now I've changed my tape into a zigzag line. So ask your grown up at home to help make your line into a zigzag. So I'm gonna stand on my line. I'm gonna put my arms out, I'm gonna stretch up and I'm gonna really carefully try and follow the line using my feet, changing direction. So once I get to the end, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to walk back over my zigzag line. Have a go. Hi everyone, we're gonna sit in straddle shape. So, legs out to the side, nice straight back, stretch your toes. You can ask your grown-up, or your, if you've got a brother and sister, they can help with this one. We're gonna do patter cake. I'm gonna use my knees, but you can use a grown-up's hands. Patter cake, patter cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. We're now gonna sit in our pike shape. So nice straight back, legs together, nice and tall. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady, build it up with wood and clay, wood and clay, wood and clay, build it up with wood and clay, my fair lady. We're going to sit in our tuck shape, so you want a nice straight back, knees up, feet together, heels to your bottom. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got and home he trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Hello Benchmark, here we are ready for another story. And I decided to do the story of the gingerbread man. So I looked in my cupboard for some characters and I found a few characters, but then I didn't have some of them. So I made those using paper and pen and some scissors to cut them out. And I also used just some toys that I could find hanging around. So I hope you enjoy my story. One day there was a little old lady and she decided she was going to make some gingerbread. So she got her bowl and her spoon and stirred up the mixture. Can you have a go at stirring your mixture? Good. When it was all stirred, she took out the dough and put it down and took out her rolling pin and rolled and rolled and rolled the gingerbread. Can you roll your fingers like that? Good. Then she took out a cutter, put it on top and made a gingerbread man shape. She put in three cherries for buttons and she put in two eyes and she thought, I really do like this gingerbread man. Then she put in a mouth and when she put in the mouth that's when all the trouble started let me show you here's our gingerbread man there he is but as soon as he had his mouth he started talking look at me I'm the gingerbread man Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, said the gingerbread man. So the old lady, here she is, started to chase him. But she couldn't catch him. Then they bumped into a chicken. There's the chicken. 
and the gingerbread man said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He's very cheeky. Next, they met Mr. Pig. There he is. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he said. Along came Teddy. There he is, Ooh, balance. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, said the gingerbread man. Now, the gingerbread man ran as fast as he could until he came to the river. Oh no, how am I going to get across the river? so I can get away from everyone who's chasing me, he said. Hmm. In the river, having a little swim, was a fox. Yum, 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 he thought, I like gingerbread. Jump on my back, he said, and I'll give you a ride. Hmm, promise you won't eat me? Yes, he said. So the gingerbread man jumped onto his back. Oh, the water was getting higher and higher. <gasps> Jump onto my ear, said the fox. So he did. <gasps> Jump onto my nose, said the fox. Oh dear. And just as the fox opened up his mouth, to yum, 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 snap away the gingerbread man. Guess what happened? Along came a lovely little bird who picked up the gingerbread man and took him to the other side of the water where he was safe. So if you ever see a little gingerbread man running around, remember, he's very cheeky. And if you start chasing him, you might be running around for a very long time. <laughs>